<laughs> I'm glad you can have you here, George. Now, when you go off to school next year, mm -hmm. I think you'll find that things are going to get busier and busier. Yes, for sure. I have to work in city. It will be very busy. Where are you going to school? In Brasilia? Yeah, in Brasilia. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. Well, I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun. Yes. Juan Carlos, how is your day? Um, very busy, but now my work is all, is done. But I'm trapped in a city in this city because the bus is not uh, go out until two more hours. That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it could be worse. You could be where I am uh, today. The temperature. If you can believe this, was minus eight. Yeah, things freeze at that temperature. I thought there was something wrong with my car because it wasn't straight. And then when I stopped and got out, there was this wind blowing. So minus eight felt a lot colder. So when you're waiting for your bus, just realize some people up north are freezing. Very, very cold. Luis. Yes. How is your day? My day is good. I, I don't have to work, so it's good. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, you, you look like a man that is very relaxed. Yes, today I'm very relaxed. Thank you, God. Yeah, me too. It was about two hours ago, two and a half hours ago, my girlfriend says, Oh, don't you have class today? I'm going... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's 6 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew it was coming up. I just didn't realize it was so soon. So yeah, this is one of two classes today. And oh, by the way, um, George will be very, very happy to hear this. But I picked up two more classes this week. Um, now, tomorrow I picked up. It's a beginner class, so you guys, you guys might not want to join. It's introductions, different ways of saying hello. And I won't leave you guys hanging. I'll also have ways of saying goodbye as well. But Friday, just for George, yeah. I have Especially a game class. George. Yes. Yeah, George. <laughs> I have this yes. Long time you don't have one in class. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do today, son. <laughs> I have a game class. Sorry, I'm speaking very fast today. I think I'm just in the regular holiday spirit, and sometimes I forget that you guys are learning because your English is so good. But I'll I'll try to speak a little slower. I'm I know I'm speaking too fast. And let's see, what other classes do I have coming up that you might be interested in? Business? Yes, tomorrow's a business English class. Um, it's up to you what we want to cover. If you don't tell me anything, I'll come up with something. But it should be an interesting week. The last time, the last Wednesday that we met, is today Wednesday or Thursday? I don't know. Let's say it's Wednesday. Uh, last Wednesday, we had a essay writing class. It was on the compare and contrast essay. Today, we're also going to focus on compare and contrast. Only it's going to be a little different today. Okay. Uh, let me just see something here. Yeah, I just wanted to check. This is advanced level class. Good. So, not speaking too, too fast. So, we're going to try and bring together the different elements of creating a complete and well-structured paragraph with a topic sentence and of course focusing on a transitional sentence. Okay, Mastering a strong paragraph is very critical to being able to write short answers and full essays in the TOEFL exam. Just as important as a thesis statement, just as important as an introductory paragraph, including paragraph and the body statements. Focus should be placed on the organization and the structure. That means 
every paragraph should have a clear topic sentence, a body and a conclusion, or sorry, a body, a conclusion, and a transition if necessary. So, well, why don't I share out, and then that way you guys can actually see what I'm reading, and actually I can have you guys read instead. So I'm going to do a screen share now, and I'm sorry for those in the class that you can't see. I'll see if I can paste the information, but I suggest just listening carefully. The students in this class range from a very high proficiency in English. Some will speak faster than me. Others will speak slower. Oh, uh, Gabriel, welcome to class. Thank you. <laughs> I just saw you there now. I was on a different screen, so we're going to do some exercises soon, but first we're going to work together, look at some paragraphs, okay? And Jonathan, welcome Good. to class. Hello, teacher. Thanks. Thanks. Um, so let me share out my screen here. Can everybody see? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. So the paragraph supporting your point, I'm going to have, let me see who's in class. So we have Daniela and then Gabriel. Okay. So Daniela, could you read the first two sentences of supporting your point, please? Okay. Support your point. After you after you have stated your main point in the topic sentence, you need to support it in the sentence that follow. The supporting sentence sentences can include reasons, facts, and examples. Thank you. And yes, uh, Daniela, sentences is important to pronounce. Yes, you caught it the, the second time around, so sentences. very good. Sentences. Okay. Yeah, sentences. Gabriel, could you read the next two okay. sentences, please? Uh, try to make your supporting sentences as specific as possible. Supporting sentences that are vague or that merely repeat the point you made in the topic sentence are not effective. Very good. Now, I would ask you guys to summarize the main points here, but I think it's very, very clear. In the first line, you need to state a main point in the topic sentence. That's very important. But you also need to support it in the sentences that follow. Okay? So let's look at this writing tip here. It's going to help us restate that point again. Um, George, could you please read the writing tip? Okay. As as a writer, it, it is your job to provide enough, enough support to prove the point you made in your topic sentence. Remember, to support your point with facts, reasons, and examples. Okay, good. Facts, reasons, and examples. And we're going to show you a couple of examples here in just a little bit. What I'm going to have you do now is I'm going to have you look at two paragraphs. Both of them begin with the same topic sentence, but each one develops differently. I want you to pay close attention to each paragraph, and as your classmates are reading, I want you to make note of which one seems to be clear, coherent, which one backs it up with facts, reasons, and examples. And again, let's go back up to the top here. You need to support the sentences that follow. So pay attention to which paragraphs do a best job of support, providing support in the sentences that follow the main one. So yes, it's a little different from what they wrote, but we're certainly not going to be able to underline on screen here. 
So we have paragraph number one here, and let me see who's in what order. We've George has spoken, so Jonathan and Juan are next. Jonathan, okay. could you please read the first two sentences of paragraph one? Okay. Our family trip to Costa Rica last summer was very exciting. Every day we saw something new and different. Thank you. Juan Carlos, could you read the next two sentences, please? One day we went hiking. Another day we took a rafting trip down the river. Thank you. Luis, could you read the next two sentences? We saw lots of unusual plants. Oh, the screen changed. Sorry, the... I forgot no. that. I... <laughs> no, no, okay, okay. <laughs> We saw lots of unusual plants and animals that we had never seen before. We did many things that we'll never forget. Everyone agreed that this was the best trip we have ever taken. Okay, I'm not going to ask you any questions on that one, but I want to give you about a minute. Take a look at it. Actually, I'll give you two minutes. And I, at this point, I want you to look at it and write down any points about it in terms of its facts, any examples or any reasons. Do the following sentences properly support it? And just take another minute and a half. And then we'll read the next one together. When you're done, if you could let me know, because I can't see the Hangout screen. I got it. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Two of you are done. I'm done. Thank you, George. Yes, I'm done. Thank you, Daniela. We've got five students that are done. Me too. Six. We only got about twenty okay. seconds left. Seven. Okay, time's up. Now we're going to go to the next one, paragraph number two. This one's a little longer. That could tell you something. So we have Patricia and Renee next. Patricia, could yes. you please read the first two sentences? Okay. Um, our family trip to Costa Rica last summer was very exciting. Sorry. We were there for two weeks. And not a day when we would have something unusual happening. Yeah, not a day went by. Thank you, Patricia. And I've already forgotten who you're sitting next to. And it's Renee. Renee, could you please read the next two sentences? Sure. On our second day, a boa constrictor swarmed right in front of us while we are we were rafting down the Rio Claro. The Rio Claro. Another day, spider monkeys threw branches at us in the deep forest. Man, those spider monkeys. Yeah. Misbehaving. Daniela, could you read the next two paragraph uh, uh, sentences? I don't know if it, I'm not sure it's another day or hiking. Hiking. Hiking, okay. Hiking on the primitive trails in Corcovado National Park, we saw brilliant scarlet macaws and tokens with huge yellow bits. Bits. Um, whenever we look at the pictures from our trip, 
we all agree that it was the most exciting one we have ever taken. Okay, great. Now I'd like you guys to take about a minute to write down your thoughts about paragraph number two. Again, do the following sentences support the main idea? Are there any facts, examples? Okay, so take about a minute. I hear some singing and some dogs barking in the background. Now might be a good time to remind you that if you do have a lot of noise in your background, please mute your connection so that way it doesn't disturb the rest of st the students in the class. Thank you very much. Uh, when you're ready to speak, just go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay. Another 20 seconds. I'm done. Thank you. Yes, I'm done. Thank you, Juan. Okay. Thank you. I'm done. Thank you, George. Okay, I'm going to take us back. I'm giving you less time because I'm hoping you're going to see a difference. So, we just read two paragraphs. Renee. Yes, sir. What did you notice between the first paragraph and the second paragraph? How were they different? Oh, totally different. They're, in the first paragraph, they are only talking about, yeah, what's a great, uh, the best travel ever. A trip. Uh, I see a lot of plants and animals, and that's it. And in the second paragraph, they said I saw spider monkeys, a boa constrictor. So more more examples about how this travel was was good. Yeah, very easy to see the difference, right? Yeah. So you would think it would be very easy to write a paragraph like the second one, correct? I see some laughs. No. no, if you're saying no, you're being honest. No. That's certainly what it should look like. They had facts. They had examples. It was more colorful, the language. They used a lot of proper nouns. Let's take a look. Or let me just sort of read off to you. In the first one, the trip was to Costa Rica last summer, so yeah, that's the same. But number two was more vivid. Not a day went by without something unusual happening. I'm kind of interested now. Something unusual. A boa constrictor swam right in front of us. That's exciting. River rafting. Spider monkeys. I don't know what spider monkeys are, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> Right? A little monkey. They were threw, yeah, they threw branches at us. <laughs> so already, without having gone far, I'm interested. We're in the first one. Ah, you know what? We went to Costa Rica. We saw some stuff. We went for a walk. Then we went in the water. We saw some plants. We went home. That person's not very interested, is it? It's kind of what. <laughs> it's kind of when your mom or your dad ask you, "What did you do at school today?" Um, uh, not much. We just, you know, studied some stuff. What did you study? Oh, um, about the planet and science and stuff. What kind of science? You know, the first paragraph is like pulling teeth. You know, a lot of hard work. But don't worry, guys. I'm not going to throw you into writing anything yet. We're going to look at a couple of more examples. You guys ready? Yes. Yes, okay. we are. And Daniela, since you last read, I'm going to start with um, Gabrielle. And let's share the screen again. And here we go.
Okay, so again, I want you to read the following paragraphs. Only this time we're going to answer some questions besides the ones that I gave you. As before, one sentence provides us with adequate support. The other one leaves us much to be desired. So, Gabrielle, could you read the first two sentences, please? Okay. The repairs on my car were much more expensive than I had anticipated. When I saw the final bill, I was in shock. Thank you. Uh, George, are you next? Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you please read the next two sentences? Okay. It was twice as much as I had planned it on. I had to pay $395 to get it the brakes repaired and another one hundred dollars to get the wheels aligned. Thank you George. Um, and aligned, it's got the D sound at the end so you can just say aligned. Aligned. Very good, excellent. And your numbers are great George, three hundred and ninety-five dollars, one hundred dollars, so those are great. Now, before I go to paragraph two, what do you guys think of paragraph one? It looks good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, Patricia, what do you think of paragraph one? Yes, to compare price. Yeah, you, you kind of, you know the deal here. Got to repair the car. You know what was wrong. You know what it was supposed to cost. It was more than you expected. No, pretty good. Um, oh, I f we got, forgot one sentence. The engine oil was $30 and the replacement air filter was another 20 Okay, let's look at paragraph two here. And let me just see who's in line next. We have uh, Jonathan and Juan Carlos. So, Jonathan, could you read the first two sentences, please? Uh, okay. And the, the first two sentences? Yes, please, a paragraph two. Okay, the repairs on my car were much more expensive than I have anticipated. And the mechanics did a good job. But I think I was overturned for everything. Okay, thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos, the next two sentences. I never imagined that the final bill would be so high. In fact, I had to borrow money from my friend to pay it. That's not cool. All right, Luis, could you read the rest, please? The next time, I will go to a different garage. Okay, great. So you've already answered the first one, right? Does everybody agree after reading the second one that the first paragraph provides more support? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. I do. Yeah, no doubt there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Question number two. What are the supporting details in paragraph number two? Let's see, who haven't I picked on in a while? Uh, Gabriel. Me? Yes, sir. What are some supporting details that were included in paragraph one? Uh, the, the price. Okay, good. Number two. Uh, let's see, George. He, he said uh, what he, he needed to, to fix in his car, like he, uh, the brakes, the engine oil. That's the second one, engine oil. Uh, the wheels. And wheels. The, to replace the air filter. Well, that's five. I asked for four. Well done. <laughs> Can you tell me any specifics from the second paragraph? Um. He said only the price was high and only general, a general idea. Yeah. That he had some problems with the price and just it's that. 
it's what I like to call the parent conversation. When we're young, such as a teenager, and our parents ask us, well, most teenagers, what do teenagers usually do? Give you the very minimum response. At yeah. least that's how it, I've grew up with my friends. We, what did you do this weekend? Oh, not much. Mm -hmm. yeah. How was school? Oh, it was good. How was work? Okay. Work was horrible. I was late. Did you get fired? No. <laughs> right? Yeah. So we call this the teenager conversation. Okay, so I'm going to take us back to the assignment again. Again, no surprises here, guys. I'm not trying to throw anything strange at you. We're going to read another two paragraphs. It will get a little more difficult in a bit, but right now I just want to have you guys sort of get used to reading good paragraphs versus bad paragraphs. What I also want you to be doing, and I can tell by the look on Juan's face, he's already thinking about something he's written and thinking of how I can change things. And here's something very, very important. The desire to change is great. When you write something the first time around, we call it an early draft. When we do an early draft, we just spit words out. You don't even have to have proper grammar structure. You don't care about spelling. I might just say John walk with an arrow. John walk there. I'm just trying to get things out of my head. I'm older than most of you guys, so my memory isn't the best. So I just want to spit the points out. It's a very, very, very early draft. Okay? Then we go through it and we start writing out our we start developing our essay, we might identify a thesis statement, uh, our main points for our body, then we'll start to write it out. So we might come up with just a, basically a draft and then a final draft. You might have 15, 15 different revisions until you get it to where you're happy with. Fifteen? Okay. You might, sure. Now, okay. well, maybe your essay's not, Daniela, maybe George is not, but I can guarantee if you go into the workplace and your part of your job is to produce materials for the public, yeah, you might go through 15 different revisions. And it might not be your choice. Maybe you've made changes. The other person decides they want to rewrite something. It keeps going back. So your first draft will never be good. It's not the point. Okay. So let's go back. Look at a couple another another couple of paragraphs. Hmm. Oh, wrong screen. No. Ah, who loves chemistry? Good, I'm glad. I don't like. <laughs> okay, so Luis read the last time. So, Patricia, could you please read the first two paragraphs? Share the screen, please. Okay, yes. fine. <laughs> I cannot see the screen. Thank you. Boy, you guys are you guys are rough, tough crowd. <laughs> I'm trying to challenge you. I'm trying to send you the thoughts with my mind. Okay, let okay. me just zoom in a bit. By the way, uh, yes. that's time consuming. I know it's hard to read. It's a little blurry. Uh, Patricia, the first two sentences, please. Okay. My chemistry course is very difficult and time consuming. The professor doesn't seem to realize that chemistry isn't the only course we are talking. Taking. Ah, taking. Uh, and another thing, you see realize spelt with a Z. In British English, it's with an S. Okay, uh, Renee, the next two sentences, please. Mauricio. Oh, Renee hey, is not, not, not here anymore, unfortunately. Oh, rotten shame. Good evening, Simon. Welcome, Mauricio. Thank you very much. The professor doesn't seem to realize the chemistry isn't the only course 
we're taking. Next sentence. He gives lots of homework and too much reading. And the next one, please. The worst thing is that his lectures are really boring. Daniela, could you finish it off, please? Okay. I'm not interested in chemistry, so I hate reading the, de the textbook. I know I'm not the only student complaining about this course. Thank you. Uh, Gabriel, could you read the first two sentences? Yes. My chemistry course is very difficult and time-consuming. First of all, we, we are responsible for two labs every week, which means a minimum of 10 hours a week in the lab. Thank you. George, the next two. To make matters worse, the professor gives at least three tests per month. The questions are very tricky and we have to memorize long, complicated formulas. That's not right. Jonathan, if you could finish it off, please. Um, uh, what's your reference? Finally. Uh, okay. Uh, finally, the reading lot is also quiet heavy, as much as 25 pages a night. I often spend all my free time doing the required reading. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mauricio, welcome to the class. I'm going to pick on you, sir. Which paragraph was better? I think it's the second one. The last Why? One. Because it has more information. Uh, for example, the the guy, the or the student. Um, uh, right, wrote more. De uh, wrote more. Was it, it was more specific about how hard was the classwork? Okay, very good. And I'm looking for four separate elements. And by the way, Jonathan, we're getting a lot of background noise from your connection. I'm going to ask you, please, if you can just keep yourself muted until you're ready to speak. Thank you. Okay, so what are the four? or there might be five, what are four facts that were provided in the second paragraph? Uh, well, uh, two laughs every week, um, three tests per month, it was tricky, uh, he had to memorize the, the very very hard formulas and and they also have to read heavy readings, heavy lectures, maybe pay 25 pages. And uh, what else? Uh, they have, well, two, two laughs every week, uh, 10 hours a week. That's a, a, a very good detail. And okay. And three test, tests per month. Time for a new pen. <laughs> Okay, so I, I think what was pretty easy to see here is that the first one was the teenage response. Yes, didn't like it, too much work, not having fun, I want to come home. Whereas number two was much more detailed. If you were a parent and you heard that, yeah, you understand. You're Instead of pulling questions now, you're going to start saying, well, what do you think you, what are you going to do? No. Very different. Okay. Let's see here. What do we have next? Do we, I'm hoping it's an exercise. Oh, they want us to do another one. No. Let's see. How many exercises do we want to do here? Okay, I'm going to give you guys a choice. We can do another couple of paragraphs, and these ones are bigger, or we can go into some exercises where you actually have to start writing out sentences, supporting sentences. I prefer writing some sentences. Oh, you, you're all good students. Okay. I'm going to share the screen again. And if time, we'll have a test afterwards. So you can see how big these ones were that you were going to do. Look at the size of those. Huge. It was, imp it was really fascinating stuff, though. So here we go. We're going to write supporting sentences. And in the example A, 
we're told write three supporting sentences for each of the to following topic sentences. For number one, I am terrible at doing laundry. That's great. That's kind of a teenage response, as I was saying. It's just not a lot of detail. A, here's some example. A, I forgot to separate the colored clothes from the white ones and sometimes ended up with gray socks. Hmm, I was going to say, I would write this. I forgot to separate the colored clothes from the white ones and ended up with pink laundry. That one has happened in college. I remember a friend of mine turned his laundry pink. Guess what he did next week? Sometimes I forget to set the water on cold and turned everything on hot and all my laundry shrunk. It's another example. Another example, I rarely read the cleaning instructions and have ruined clothes by putting them in the washing machine instead of dry cleaning them. Okay, so those are some examples. Now, I, here, this is where we're going to do some work, guys. I love trying food from different countries. I love trying food from different countries. Now, what I want you to do, I'm turning off screen share. I want you to work away for about two minutes. No, that's not fair. I want you to work away for about five minutes, and I want you to come up with three different supporting sentences. Again, let me just show you the other screen on what we had with the other example. Because once you're asked to do it, somehow it seems more complicated than when you're just reading it. So here's an example here. You have five minutes. It's 39 after. We will stop at 44 after. We will stop at 44 minutes on the hour. Use Google Drive if you like. Use Word or Notepad. Text edit, whatever you like. While you're doing that, I'm just going to grab myself a quick bit of water. Sorry about being away, guys. I've got a bit of a sore throat. Need some water. We have three more minutes left. I hope all of you are working hard on your sentences. Is anybody done? For many of us, this should be a relatively easy subject because we all love food. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. We still have two minutes left for those of you that are still writing.
And by the way, um, next class coming up, I have a break for, of an hour, and then my next class is current events. We're going to talk about things that are happening in the news. Last week we talked about pets and how skilled they can be at speaking, talking, and riding skateboards. We will pick a different topic this week, depending on what's in the news. Please come to class if you're going to join me with some ideas. And we can look at those as well. One minute left. I think I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. And because you guys did a wonderful job of recognizing which paragraph is detailed, I'm going to actually, ha after you read it, I want you to well, seek the advice of your peers. Do you think it's detailed enough? Okay, we'll, we'll support each other. Hi, Edna. Okay, guys, pencils down. How are you, Daniela? Very well, thanks, Simon. <laughs> Great. So, I love trying foods from different countries. Okay, is, I will. Is, is our topic sentence. Just paste it in the chat again. Um, if you could go ahead and read out your first sentence. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I really like tasting different kind of kinds of food. For for example, when I'm eating Chinese food, uh, what I like the most is the opportunity to try different kind of vegetables combining to different sauces. Okay, thank you, guys. What do you think? Yes, it support it support the main idea. Okay. Did it have any evidence or sorry examples or facts? Remember the three the things. That, yeah, remember there's three things we're looking for here in our paragraphs. Uh, we're looking for examples, reasons, and facts. So. What are some of the things that Daniela mentioned? George, you have your hand up. Um, she, she said that he, she likes Chinese food. Uh, Good. Uh, Luis, what kinds of Chinese food? Did she mention anything specific? I think I I hear saucer. Sauces. With some, with someone else, I'm forgot now. Yeah, some veg and Vegetable. meat. Yeah. I'm summarizing, and that's pretty good to have three different things in one sentence. Danielle, thank you very much. I'm just going to go with the first, and I'm going to go around the yeah. class and come back, and we'll do the second. Gabrielle, could you read us your first sentence, please? Uh, I I I wrote about another thing. <laughs> you did. I uh, like it. You're changing the rules. Sorry. Uh, Please read your first about, sentence then. I know. I mean, I I made it about I'm terrible at making something. Well, at please read us. Please read us what you wrote then. Uh, the first one. Yes. Okay. I never. Uh, I'm terrible at making rice. First, I never know how much water it takes. Okay, guys, what do you think? Can you repeat, please? Gabriel? What? Please. Can you repeat, Gabriel, yes. your sentence? Uh, I am terrible at making rice. I never know how much water it takes. Okay, guys, what do you think? Mm -hmm. He doesn't know how to make rice. Yeah. He okay. said he, yes. he don't know how much water 
He can cook. He's a bad cook. <laughs> well, he didn't say that. Uh, he, he didn't say that. He just said he was making terrible at rice. We had two sentences there. The first one was rather vague. But the second one says he didn't know how much water to add. Okay. Uh -huh. You could have said, when I make rice, I never know how much water to add. Okay, but good. Thank you. George. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When I travel, I like to taste new food. I also would like to cook and uh, taste many different kind of foods. I, I love Brazilian, Japanese, and the Colombia food. Okay, what do you guys think? It's not so specific. Well, I was thinking the same thing, Juan Carlos. At the beginning, it wasn't very specific, right? It was kind of what we said before, that kind of teenager, how is, how is your dinner? It was good. I like all kinds of food. But then George did go in to say, in detail, I like Japanese, Brazilian, and Colombian food. I think he, he loved eat fish. <laughs> well, you know, he, did, he didn't say anything about fish, though, right? George, did you say anything about fish? No, I didn't. No. So it was started off vague, and then he started to talk a bit more specifically. What George might do next is he might say, in particular, when it comes to Brazilian food, I like blah, 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 with blah and blah. Then you're providing a bit more detail. I like this because of the tastes and flavors, you know, for example. All right, Jonathan, your first sentence, please. Uh, okay. Um, I prefer to eat food from my own country because it is so delicious. Okay, guys, what do you think? Different country, the, the sentencing. You talk about your country. What country? Yeah, he didn't say the country, so we don't know. Yeah. Um, so. Jonathan, good, but you know, you can see where it's a little vague. You said, from my own country. Now, we know you've done introductions here, but that sentence, we have no idea from what country. We have no idea what kind of food. We have no idea what kind of tastes. You know, it, that one is a little bit vague. So you would need some, maybe some examples. Okay. Or some facts. To, or a reason. Okay. Okay. So very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Juan Carlos. I love trying food from different countries. That allow me to experiment new flavors that I never could imagine, like the curry or vegetables that I didn't know, like the okra. And I can use all these new flavors and vegetables to improve my cooking and surprise my guests with some fancy food. <laughs> hmm. Well, this is what I would like to say, Juan Carlos. Okay, let me try that again. Oh, my sound effects aren't working. Well, you guys know the applause one, right? That's what I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, everyone but the applause one is working. Written <laughs> <laughs> a book. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's... Anyhow, Juan Carlos, I, I think everybody will agree with me. Wow. Examples, facts, reasonings. It's pretty clear what you had to say there. And yeah, like curry, like different vegetables, like okra. You see that? He didn't just say different vegetables, he named one okra. Well done. Well done. Luis. Uh, after Juan, now it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Think of it this way, Juan just gave you more information to work with, so... Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, when I finished my my work, back into my house, I forgot to stop it in supermarkets and to buy my dinner. I I would like to eat some macaroni with steak this evening. Okay, so we do have some examples there, right? Some reasons. So good, good. Mauricio. <laughs> <laughs> and what about a round of applause for Juan for his last one too? Uh, I did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mauricio, it's your turn, please. I can taste <clears throat> dishes from different countries because I have the chance to taste several flavors, as for example, Indian dishes, which are very spicy. Last time, I had very a very delicious recipe called chicken with curry. I also go. I, I also I also went with my girlfriend. I'm sorry. I also can go with my girlfriend and friends of us. Last time, I went to Hanukkah restaurant where they serve tempura and raw food called su sushi, which is from Japan. The experience was brilliant. Okay, so there's like four different examples, two reasons, and at least one fact, although he went ahead and read all of his three sentences, uh, but very good, very good. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Patricia, oh, by the way, Edna wrote one too, so good Redna, uh, Edna. Very good. And Patricia. Oh, she wrote. Okay, so yes. Patricia, would you like to read what you pasted? Yes. When traveling to Spain, I love it eating 30 meals accompanied by fine wine and like Mexico, enjoying the spicy and a strong drink. Well, very good. Excellent, Patricia. Yeah, facts, examples, and reasons. You know, why? Because I like this. Salty meals accompanied by fine wine, yeah. Uh, that's some Lebanese food, uh, they have some nice salty dishes too. Okay. I love Chinese food, especially barbecued pork, along with a uh, hot lamb, or a lamb in a hot sauce. I also enjoy the many soups that they have, from a sweet and sour to very mild soups with lobo, bok choy, a little bit of cilantro, lamb, pork, and other vegetables. So again, another example of, we're providing lots of examples, a reason why I like it, I kind of left that out, didn't I? But some, also some facts. I think you guys have done a really good job here today. We only have five minutes left. I don't know if we have time for a game. What do you guys think? Dictionary. Yes, we have. We have. Okay, we do. We do. Yes. I love that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Feel free to shout it out. Okay, I'm going to draw something on the board. You guys have to guess what it is. Okay. A car. A restaurant. <laughs> Chinese food. A ghost. A wheel. A donut. A, donut. A tire. A tire. A tire. A tire. A tire. <laughs> <laughs> UK spelling with a Y, uh, North American with an I. Okay. Okay. Um. A stick. Hangman. 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 Yeah. Stick it out. Stick it. Stick hangman. Ah, basketball. Yes. Not the hang. Yeah. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Basketball. Basketball. Basket. Uh, I don't know. How, I, I didn't know the name of that. The basket. Basket. Uh, basket. The basket. The basket. Yeah. Uh, ball. Okay. Basket. Basket. Okay. basket. Point. Point. Oh God. Is the fish? Fish. fish. The net. Fish. The net. Yes. The net. Fish. Net. Net. Oh, net. Oh man. Basket. <laughs> net. Ball. Net. Net. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, guys. Fast paced. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys stick around for more of my classes. Okay, so... Hmm. Ah, okay. A square. A house. A telephone. A, a radio. A radio. A TV. 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 A
Voice World TV, ok? Show. Show. TV show. Screen. Documentary. Uh, TV screen. 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 Uh, big screen. Uh, big screen? screen? Smart TV. Plasma. Plasma TV. LED. LED TV. LED TV. No. no. Big no. screen. Smart computer. TV. Monitor. Smart TV. Theater. 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 Screen. Screen. Computer. Oh my god. <laughs> a, a hangout. A hangout. <laughs> Top year. Top year. Broadcasting. <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> Discovery. Discovery it's a, Channel. It's a TV. It's a type of TV. First word ah. is. Laddy. Laddy. Smart TV. Laddy TV. Uh, uh, TV. Big TV. Big TV. Is smart TV. Wide. Wide. Very very big TV. TV. Internet TV. Wi-Fi TV. Blue TV. Oh, black and white. <laughs> TV TV. Oh, TV. Uh -huh, yeah, TV. <laughs> <laughs> A more modern TV. Um, is it other word? Is a bit. Another word? Or not? Uh, the ch huh? also, um, what? the channel of those and TV white. resolution. Black and white. I did. TV I did. Pixels, 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 uh, pixels. Four HD. Four HD. Four HD. High definition. High definition. High definition. Yes. Yes. High definition. Oh, high definition TV. Okay. Oh, that was impossible. That's good. Thank you, Simon. I have to go. Sorry. Okay. Thanks, Maurice, for coming, Bye, Mauricio. Bye, Mauricio. Bye. Circle. A warm. Friends. People. Yes, friends. Friends. Yes, friends. Yes, yeah. friends. Yes. Oh. Okay. No. Two and a half men. Boy. Two and a half men. Um, uh, 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 Daniela. 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 Patricia. Girl. Patricia. Girl. 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 Uh, Girlfriend, right. Yeah. Girlfriend, ah, okay. Whew! Affluenting. That's quite a workout. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, this brings us, unfortunately, to the end of another class. Uh, I say unfortunately because when we're doing grammar classes, they always seem to go right to the very end. Um, <laughs> I do want to say, though, that I in the next class we will have more time to maybe play Pictionary again. Uh, for those of you that are new to my classes, let me give you a...